Last time on Africa's Next Top Model... You're staying in Cape Town. The nine remaining models were tasked with selling everyday household products. But in the end, it was Nigeria's Wumi who sold out and was sent home. I feel good. What will be, will be. It's not the end of the road. It's definitely the time up to leave. So, I'm okay. Tonight... You're gonna jump off the cliff. The models get up close and personal with one of Africa's most iconic landmarks. But not everyone is on top of the world. You are so fake. To tell people that I'm fake, which is absolutely not true. Oh, please don't me. Like, I've never done it before, so... She's not sleeping here, she's a fing liar. Bring the drama on, girl! frustrated being in my home city. I can't go anywhere. I'm so close yet so far from everything that I know. So it's my birthday tomorrow. Turning the big two, three. Can I go out? I'm trained. Today at elimination, I didn't expect Rumi to be so strong. Hopefully we all that composed. <laughs> it's really sad that um, Mumi is going, like... Our, our room is going to be ghost town now. Yeah, yeah, very quiet. So quiet. Yeah. So Nigeria, you guys have been reduced to two now. Yeah. Mm. I feel like it's time for South Africa to be reduced as well. Yes. yes. I think Rolani needs to go home because most of the things she gets is just based on them giving them giving her a pardon, like she's a rookie, she's a rookie. Everybody here is new to this day. Every time we have something to talk about, she always have a story to talk about. She's always said, oh, I've never done this before. Oh, I've never done that before. Like, f I've never done it before, too. I mean, like, I don't do runway that much. I'm a beauty pageant girl, and I don't come out and say, oh, you know what, I've never done this before. I just go there and get it done. And she's always like, I've never done this before. And I feel she's getting credit for being a rookie, not because of she's good enough, but because they're like, oh, she's never done before. Let's just give her credit for it. I think you should be credited credited on what you bring to the table, yeah. what you can do, your level of Whether performance. If she's before. good, if she's really good, then she should get credit for it. But if they're going to keep giving that, um, she's never done credit before. She's I think it's just... By each okay, guys, we're going to do house meeting again. So something positive, something negative about someone. <laughs> <clears throat> I like Michaela's softness. LOL. <laughs> Positive only. I like how Amito gossips to all of us. <laughs> Michelle, you are bracket so fake. S A. Wow. One. You are so fake. <laughs> Negative wow. two. Try being yourself. Bam. Huh? You wrote it. Why did you say it? Michelle is irritating me so much. Mostly, I think, because I'm a rookie. She doesn't like me at all. It shows. Like, every time when I get, okay, from last week I got second picture, she was ign ignoring me. When Safira was leaving, Rulani was just standing there staring at her picture, and I was like, time and a place for everything, girl. Like, now is not the time to be checking yourself out. So just, we can appreciate that you're new to this, but give it a rest now. 
What makes me fake that I spoke about you? You're usually so quiet and you're so sneaky. <laughs> and she's so rude. Oh, no. You know, to sit at house meeting and for Vilani to tell people that I'm fake, which is absolutely not true, which obviously needs a dictionary to understand the true meaning of that word. Last night I saw you being more comfortable. I want more of that. Okay, I won't hey. force you to do something you don't want to do. Obviously I'm not comfortable. I'm in a house with females. Okay, yeah, so I'm in a house with females. I think females, to, my, but I when think we to usually, myself all the time. When we usually talk or something, you usually run away. That's so not human. No, but she right. talks whenever. She but talks whenever. not with me. That's why I think she doesn't like me. So I think it's oh, personal. Right now, we don't need any more tension between the girls. We don't need this person said this, this person said that, this person took a hit at me. You know, we don't need that kind of energy right now. I don't dislike you. I don't not engage in conversation with you because you think I don't like you or whatever. I hardly ever talk to anybody. And if I talk, it's just because I'm in the mood to talk. All right. Okay. Let's cool with me then. You're unfake then. <laughs> New comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, ladies. In your last challenge, you had to sell a product that you can find in a supermarket. Tomorrow, you are going to sell the whole country. Oh. We have to sell the whole country. I'll take South Africa. I'm like, sell a country. How are you supposed to sell a country? See you tomorrow at one of the new seven wonders Table of the world. Mountain. Love Oluchi. Table Mountain. So we get the Oluchi mail. It says we're going to one of the seven wonders, which we know since we're South Africans, it's Table Mountain. We're so excited. Yo, we're gonna probably have to go up the cable car. Oh, cable car. Sh <laughs> Sorry, forgive my French, but... Okay. <laughs> Table Mountain? Oh no, I'm scared of heights. It's my first time in Table Mountain. It's a different... I never do this before, so I love it. To hold this <laughs> because... <laughs> So busy getting in the cable car and all the girls suddenly start freaking out and they got their drama queen out. It's the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope we get there. Now, now, now. She's scared of heights and it makes other girls nervous. We see them moving. I don't know if they saw the floor stay rotating. Like, oh God, oh God, oh God, what's happening? It's nice to see some confident girls uncomfortable for once. Happy birthday, Michelle. Thank you. What are we doing for your birthday? We're going out and getting crunk in the club. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Luchi sang happy birthday to me. All the girls sang happy birthday to me. Some Chinese tourists sang happy birthday to me. Everyone sang happy birthday. And it was really cool having people that I'm not, they're not personally attached to me in my life. And they just made it a really special day. So we are on Table Mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> this is one of my favorite spots in the entire world. But today, we're gonna be doing a beauty shoot for South African tourism. Our photographer for today is coming. And it's an action beauty shot, so you're gonna jump off the cliff. <laughs> I'm kidding, I would never do that. Today's shoot is really special. Table Mountain is such an iconic landmark, and so is the fame bus that grows on it. So South African tourism wants the girls to be inspired by the beauty of the mountain, 
for this marketing campaign. You're going to be wearing special hats made from Famebus. It's going to be amazing, but we're shooting in the studio. But we thought it's nice to bring you girls out here so you can draw your inspiration from the view, from Table Mountain, from the view of the sky. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Renowned florist Al Wayne Berger, creative director of Bloom Boy, has created eight very special headpieces which were inspired by famous for these iconic shoots. The girls now need to get inspirations from their surroundings and then come into the studio to create the perfect shot. South Africa has an incredible wealth of flora and it's been such a great opportunity to show that in a really interesting way. We've gone for the more architectural, sculptural side of South African plants. Um, there's such incredible shapes and such incredible silhouettes that we've had to work with. Um, so we opted for foliage more than floral. It's beauty, so think about tip from Oluchi, think about your angles and look straight into those camera and make the best girl win. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. I'll see you guys in the studio. Yes. Beauty shots are quite easy because it's just like the, the top of you and you have to work with your face. So I think it'll, it, it wouldn't be such a huge challenge. Our challenge is going to be a beauty shot. I think that's going to be so easy because we're just going to have to get there and look beautiful. That's all. I'm going to push on the hairstyles, I'm going to push on the makeup artists, everything. Like, I'm going to give my all to get a great picture. Hello, ladies. Welcome to our Feinboss Flower Studio. Uh, we've got quite an interesting challenge planned for you today. Okay. And what you're looking at you're all around here will be what you'll be wearing today. And alas, we got to the studio and the flowers were Huge! This is not going to be easy. Did you see the size of those things? anybody else and that's it and be con concentrated on your photographer on your stylist on me focusing that every single second you give you are pushing everything through and out of you the photographer for today's shoots Jonathan Taylor who's worked for magazines such as L, GQ and Marie Claire saw him become one of South Africa's leading fashion photographer so, you know, I mean, to bring the first girl is so scary. I'm even shaking. I know. Okay, the whole uh, theme of my shoot was, like, to be all fierce inside of a big hat that was made out of straws, which I had to put on a huge thing on my neck, which hurt. And then the challenging part was moving. Okay, I didn't mind being half naked, I did it before. Okay, Rilani, just keep quite still and just keep looking in that direction that you're looking in now. Is that good? Uh, no, you've got to turn more. It's, everything has changed again. She likes so beautiful. I love it. Calabara for the face. And go. Ready? Keep still. Don't blink. Happy? Okay, I've got to make them keep very still. I believe she's not very experienced, so I think that was quite a good effort. How did it go? Honestly, you know me. Mm -hmm. It was okay. How did it go? It was okay, mm -hmm. but it was a scary because it's something new. We have to do this beauty shoot where we get to wear different hearts with flowers, all these flowers that grow on top of Table Mountain. It's actually quite dark. 
you can't move very much. So when you do something, it's gonna, you gotta hold it, yeah? That's kind of interesting, hold that. It's quite beautiful. So when they poured the paint, it went into my eye, went into my mouth. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Can you take it out of her mouth? <laughs> Someone dropped an egg on her head. Too weird, the liquid. What take the yellow off. What is it that's not working? Like the yellow on... It's, it's too runny. It's, it's too yellow thin, yeah. On, yeah. Uh, it's not so like a thick, like, like that paint. From runny egg to <sighs> think about explosion. So wow, so pretty. Yeah. I just hope that all these uh, challenges that happened will uh, collect me the best photo. Don't you like it? This is now breaking. I love it. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> well, you look incredible. Uh, the great thing about uh, Mita was the beautiful colour of her skin. So the light looked amazing on her. And it's also allowed us to do an interesting grade on the picture. I'm quite nervous though, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll rock it. <laughs> hey, you look super. because it was it's really it's heavy they didn't pin it to my head though. I just had to be careful managing the whole big thing on my head so you guys should better get ready because <laughs> it's not funny outside <laughs> yeah where's she gone I liked her <laughs> yeah, it was great good job thanks yeah really good hi Chandra Chandra yes what happened to your eyebrow Chandra <laughs> <laughs> For the shoot, I really want to have a strong image, but still very natural beauty, because Olvain takes nat natural things and he turns it into very beautiful structures. Show me what you want to do. Okay. I've got one where I want to do the... Oh, that's cool. Do that's that. beautiful. Hold it, hold it. Does she have the same amount of makeup on her body as she does on her face? Not really, and it's showing. Jonathan Taylor, when I saw the pictures, I was amazed. I was blown away. Everybody's been telling me he's so good, he's, he's the best, and I can actually see that when I look at the pictures. I'm not expecting it, and that's the interesting about it. Yeah. She sits down and then she starts working, so that's a good characteristic, yeah, I think. Exactly. That was fun. I had lots of fun. And I like the faint surprise. Quite sexy, you transform nicely. <laughs> you know, there's a presence, I love it. Chandra was uh, fun, she was great. Kind of almost surprised. Yeah, really good skin, so that makes it very easy for a photographer. How'd it go? Really good. Yo, I love my picture. You are? Michaela. Michaela, oh, Nick, where are you from? Angola. Oh, she looks like a pixie. We really need to see her face. She's got a really it's fabulous kind of face. Choppy. Drop it behind her back. We've had a change of um, heart, so we're sort of um, going in an alternative direction with this one. Huh? Use this. Has a little base. Sure. For the for this check, if Crystal is happy with that. But I thought we're not going to do this at all. I said I thought also. Yeah. For something alternative. But just blue now, light and trrrr. Okay now, living in the future. It's really, really sort of picking up. There's a nice little character developing. It's um, becoming interesting. She's making it look effortless, and that's the nice thing about it. Uh-uh, uh-uh, do not touch. I think my shoot uh, is uh, quickly, easy, and funny. 
I have uh, big flowers and blue powder in my face and my hair. <laughs> Michaela, she's got a kind of ugly pixie face, you know, quite nice almond, upslanted eyes. You got it in the shot? Love it. This is a great example of the sort of shot that you aim for all the time and by miracle happens, I think, once every 500 shots. Fantastic in that black and white. Beautiful woven piece, um, which will serve as a giant neck piece. The only thing I have in my mind is, oh sh I'm going to bless. I'm a very conservative person. I don't believe you should show yourself out there for people to see, and now it's going to be on TV. Let's try it first. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Look, her face looks like it's floating. I think what's really working with this shot is that we are seeing Africa come through. You know, it, it, there's this reference to uh, the Maasai, there's reference to all kinds of really great African, iconic African visuals. I really love the photographer. The sense that it was directing me, telling me how to move, what to do. Yeah, I love Joyce. She's got a really nice energy. And I think she really suited this idea, this particular outfit, which comes across as really African. Been waiting a very long time, but I'm up now, so let's do this, finally. It's head pieces from here to there, and yeah, gonna be interesting. Yes, you can't say that you didn't get any flowers for your birthday. <laughs> I can't fucking take it home. Something inside of me knew that I was going to get this two meter long proteo head piece. It was beautiful, but it was a challenge in itself attaching that thing to my head. And I needed a stand behind me to hold it up because my neck was just like falling backwards. That's great. Can you put your head down? Let me see. Oh, that's better. It's a nice face. Now slightly open mouth. Okay, let's do powder. Michelle deserves, I think, 10 out of 10 for being a good sport, because that was kind of difficult. But the picture is really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. It may not be a classical beauty picture by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a really cool picture. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm just... I miss talking to you. OK, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Because <laughs> I'm happy that I can finally talk to you. OK, OK. So long as you're happy. Okay. I miss my mom and my stepfather, my dad. You, Please she's, trying, she's trying to make me feel no, uncomfortable. No, I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. It's this not is about not about you. But I think tomorrow is better. Shandri got really pissed off and she started speaking in Afrikaans. I didn't understand what she was saying, but I knew she was talking about me and my presence was really getting upset. Right, because I want to stand up for myself. Now you're going home. Oh, who told you to, 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 to who told you, um, uh, they gave you information? It's me, please. No, I'll say I heard them when I came up the stairways. Okay. And when I was walking by, then I heard she said it was Rosalind that was really upsetting her. Like, okay, then I go into the room and I'm like, Rosalind, what, what were you guys talking about? Like, um, 
Shandra is really upset with you about you calling her a racist. And Rose is like, what? Like, she didn't say anything. I was like, okay, just sit down, don't say anything. And she was like, no, she has to go confront her. Start tomorrow morning. Come then, let's, we gotta talk. If I confront you, I'll have your back. F her. And I don't wanna fight with anyone. I don't have you don't energy. Have why does she keep thinking she needs to fight with someone Don't you about think this? people would want to fight with me? I've heard a lot of things about me. A lot. Rulani? About it's it. gonna bother you, but don't you think you should wait for me to leave? Rulani, no. No, 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 you have to stay here. Immediately I walked in, I asked Rulani to stay in the room so that she stands by her word if she says I have said this or that. My problem is she coming to tell you in my absence that I said you were racist. Rolani came to tell me stories about how Shandre and Michelle was bad mouthing me and calling me racist. Right? What did she say? Just relax. No, she says you guys she... were gossiping about me and that she doesn't want me to come and confront you guys because she doesn't want chaos. We were just talking about this now and she said that I'm a racist for wanting to confront you. That's not what a racist is. Well, apparently, Rolani wanted to leave before Shandre came to confront me. Why would anyone do that? It's only if you're lying. She mustn't think she's gonna sleep in this room. Shandre says that she's not gonna sleep in the same room with Rolani. She's not sleeping here, she's a liar. Causing between me and my friend. She packed Rolani's stuff and put it outside. You're not sleeping in this room. I don't wanna sleep in that room. Excuse me? Please don't f I'm not good. You are don't f common. Don't Very f common. You don't. should just leave. Yes, I will leave. You common. Because I'll f someone up right now. And then Rolani pushes, she just shoves Shandre onto the bed. Like she hits the bank, and then everybody was like, what's going on? Like, you don't sleep in this room. Go to hell. The winner of Africa's Next Top Model will receive a modeling contract from DNA Models in New York, along with 50,000 US dollars in cash and a product endorsement campaign from PNG. She will also receive a 12 month contract as a SNAP ambassador to start off her career. Hi girls, it's another elimination day. How are you guys holding up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the elimination sucks, right? Just remember, the overall winner of this competition will walk away with the modeling contract with DNA Model Management in New York. But today, let's say hello to our judges, model icon and photographer, Josie Borain. <laughs> Resident judge and photographer, Remy Adetiba. And our special guest judge for today, all the way from Kenya with love, fashion stylist, Annabelle Unyango. Your last challenge was a beauty challenge for South African tourism, using natural fimbers as headpieces for that challenge. Amito, please step forward. How did you find the shoot? Did you like the head pieces that you... Yeah, I loved everything about the shoot. Or was it all shoot? too much going on? I it was a little heavy, but I could manage it. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's look at your best picture. I don't know if I sort of like the the hand on the, on the TDs so much because it looked like... Um, I don't know. Annabelle, what do you think? I mean, I, th I think she's a, a beautiful girl. Um, my only thing is um, I feel like she's a little overwhelmed by the styling. There's kind of a lot, there's a lot of styling elements going on, including the big earring, which I think uh, was a little jarring to me, but the, the face is, the face is pretty. It almost feels like Miriam Makeba gone fashion. You know, it's very motherly, very kind of far away, wistful look. The more I look at it, the more I like it. But beautiful, love. Overall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. Thank you. Andre. Let's look at your best picture. It's an unfortunate picture because in the video, her, her headpiece was so amazing. Yes. It was such a brilliant headpiece and you don't capture it at all in the photograph. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, I think uh, the photo could have been cropped a little bit better, but I mean, I think she's giving great face. I'm seeing her for the first time now and she's, she's a beautiful girl. Um, I just don't think that the photo does her justice. Absolutely. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Joycey. <laughs> I like it. it. It reminds me of some sort of carnival. I, I'm obsessed with this picture. I think you look amazing in it. Mm. Even though there's a shadow over your face, um, your it's natural beauty cool. totally comes through. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, the colors. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. It's, you know, we see so little of your face, and yet you're still completely commanding the shot. Your yeah. eyes, your smile, you nailed it, I think. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next is Michaela. <laughs> I love, I love this picture. You like it? Yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, if you stripped away all of that, then it would just be a very basic expression. I mean, I was initially disappointed, but then we looked at your performance video and there were some shots, there was one in particular that blew me away. I love this picture. It's very, like, high fashion. What don't you like about it? it? If you flip through the pages of Italian Vogue, you would find Stephen Meisel would die to have an image like this. <laughs> I think it's also funny to see how confident you are in the picture and how you're sort of unsure of yourself here in person. So that's an interesting uh, thing to see about you. Thank you. Next is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How was your birthday? Amazing, I had such a good time. <laughs> I was so jealous of you guys when I saw some of the images because I wanted to do shoot like that. I was very jealous. <laughs> Let's look at your best picture. I love this picture. I, I like the head, you know, the, the hat in your head. Josie, what do you? Um, I, I find that shoulder quite um, unfortunate. I don't like the angle of... I'd like to see more of her neck mm -hmm. and her chin. Yeah. Um, it, the face and the hair uh, piece look amazing, but mm -hmm. I just find, but it, from a, it's a personal thing of the actual photograph itself, so. Um, also keep in mind, we're seeing a lot of, you know, kind of the cheeky, witchy kind of look from you, which is great, but try to show some variation. Okay. Mm -hmm. But great shot, I mean. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Next is Okwayemi. Let's look at your best shot. Oh, uh, yeah. That, Love it. That's the best I've ever seen you in my entire Thank life. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so you're praying too, huh? Yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's amazing. And the way she's got her arms wrapped around her, perfect. It was, you know, it's not like that. It Karen wasn't like, oh, I'm, it was like yourself. you were in control, yeah. a powerful African woman. Yeah. You're doing a beauty shoot, but you're modeling with your entire body. So even the way you're holding yourself, is, it's, it's still very strong. It's adding to the entire effect. She nailed um, it. Whoever's idea it was with the, with the liquid, I don't know what that is on the body. It works so beautifully with the necklace and then the simplicity of the face. Um, I just think it's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well done. You can go. <laughs> Next up is Rulani. Let's look at your best picture. You know, it's such a regal environment that you're shooting in there, and, and, and I, I feel like I'd like to see more of a, a, a warrior or a, a, a goddess mm -hmm. coming out of those sticks. Her expression contradicts the hat that she's wearing on her head. Yeah. It doesn't complement it in any way. It's too soft of a look. You, you could have been a lot bolder, a lot stronger for that headpiece. Was it painful, maybe? No, it wasn't it painful. Wasn't, was it heavy, heavy? Not that heavy. It wasn't heavy. All right. Thanks, Rulani. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next is Ruslan. Let's look at your best picture. I have never seen you looking so good in my entire life. Oh, gosh. I didn't believe that was you. You almost, and you look like, almost like a, an albino. Or like, yes, I do. The I only thing the hands, that yeah. she didn't, you know, the hands on the neck was a bit I was, I was, It was yeah. the first time shooting nude, like topless. Okay. So I was really aware of covering of up and hiding <laughs> and stuff. Okay. But later in the shoot, I, I think I forgot about it. So I, I let go. <laughs> but in the beginning, it was very like closing and hiding. So. It's interesting because I don't see the self-consciousness on your face. Yeah. Mm. There is a strength on your face that would have been great to see from Rulani and hers. Yes. It's, it's, it's very regal. Well done. Thank you. Thanks. Now, us judges will deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which one of you will be leaving us. Thank you. So what do we think, guys? I mean, before we talk about the girls, how do you guys feel about the headpieces? I think he did such an amazing job. Annabelle, what do you think? Yeah, this hat designer, a South African, I believe, yeah. Alvain Berger, yeah. um, who he has was... created these incredible headpieces um, out of, I think, plants that are indigenous plants, to this country. Famous. Flowers. We've seen them in person, and they're, they're, they're really amazing pieces. And I think the girls did do them justice in the end, I would say. Yeah. So what, what do we think about Shiandri? Um, mm -hmm. I think, unfortunately, the angle of where the camera was placed, uh, he shot up on her. And I, I would love to have seen more headpiece and less mm -hmm. chest. See, I don't shadow... want her to leave because mm. the p picture doesn't do Definitely. her justice. But I saw, I saw her done, performance film and she wasn't so that great. She's done so great in the last two challenges. Mm -hmm. She's been one of our best. Mm -hmm. um, what about Roslyn? What do you think? I think the greatest thing about this picture is Roslyn. Okay. I think um, everything else, unfortunately, happening around her is, is a little hectic. I love the hat in real life. I just feel that it wasn't, it didn't come out in the in the photo. It's beautiful. So thank goodness for Rosalind because she, she's gorgeous. What about Amito? How, how do we feel about Amito? It's sweet, but she could be stronger. What about Rulani? How do we... Rulani. <laughs> Oluchi, can I ask you a question yes. real quick? As a model, yes. is it ever acceptable to look weak and vulnerable? No. Is there ever a time when you can no, do that? No, they don't have time for that. <laughs> Unfortunately, fashion does not have time for yeah. that. I don't know about Josie's era, but my era, it's unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. I mean, really. I love Michelle's picture. Michelle should know that she's not built like the other models. She should know then to lengthen herself. Give, her, give us a neck, give us a chin. And Josie? Josie. Yeah, look, I... I, I have a huge problem with the shoulder, but okay. I mean, yeah. I think her face, forget about the shoulder, mm. her face is gorgeous. Yeah. All right, uh, I guess we've reached our decision. I think so. Yeah, yeah I think it's actually overwhelmingly clear. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's call them back in. We have reached our decision. I have eight of you standing before me, but only have seven pictures in my hands. And these seven pictures represent the girls that will continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The first name that I'm going to call is the name voted by the judges as the best picture for this challenge. And that is... Okweyemi. Congratulations. Remember, this is a competition. And to be a winner, you have to keep fighting to the very end, OK? Thank you. All right. The next name that I'm going to call.
can't keep being the last bottom. I really follow instructions. You know, it's okay to follow instruction, but you also have to be aware. You have to look, think what the photographer is seeing. So you better know how to fix yourself. All right, congratulations. Thank you. You're still in the running. Thank you. Andre and Vlani step forward. I feel bad because we were both standing there and she could have picked any one of us. So I feel bad and... But I don't know if Lani sees it like that. But somebody has to go home, so... I tried my best and it didn't work out, but I'm good. If you're not good enough, you'll be going home whether you like it or not. So, it's evidence the judges have said that Lani is not good enough. So, just sent her home. And I'm like, yeah. 